E for short. You will find PD activity in all types of high voltage power assets, from switchgear to transformers and overhead lines to underground cables, causing degradation and failures. Because experience shows that PD activity is a contributory factor in more than 8 out of 10 disruptive failures in substations. And it is the most reliable indicator of the true condition of insulation in live assets. So, what exactly is partial discharge activity? How do we go about locating and measuring it? And how can we use that information to make assets more efficient and reliable at lower cost? What is PD? A partial discharge is an electrical discharge or spark that bridges a small portion of the insulation between two conducting electrodes. We call this PD activity. PD activity can occur at any point in the insulation system where the electric field strength exceeds the breakdown strength of that portion of the insulating material. It can occur in voids within solid insulation, across the surface of insulating material, within gas bubbles in liquid insulation, or around an electrode in gas in the form of corona. Above all, PD activity is the most reliable indicator that assets are deteriorating. Causes of PD Partial discharge activity has many causes, including voids in solid insulation, often caused during manufacture, mechanical breakdown or damage to insulation, sometimes caused during installation, particle contamination, design defects such as poor stress control or irregularities or a combination of factors that are characteristic of assets getting old and ultimately breaking down because PD activity may be intermittent or it may vary in intensity over time but once it starts the damage always or it may vary in intensity over time but once it starts, the damage always increases. PD effects Partial discharges emit energy in several ways, producing electromagnetic emissions in the form of radio waves, light and heat, acoustic emissions in the audible and ultrasonic ranges, and ozone and nitrous oxide gases. And these emissions enable us to detect, locate, measure and analyze PD activity so we can identify faults before they develop into failures. Because once present, the damage caused by PD always increases, leading to asset failures, outages and if protection systems fail, disaster. PD fault detection. So, how do we find out if PD activity is at a level that needs investigating further? Handheld detectors are ideal for carrying out first pass surveys. They are easy to use, with little training, and very effective. Just turn on check for PD activity on the surface of the assets 
and for internal activity. For carrying out first-pass surveys. They are easy to use, with little training, and very effective. Just turn on, check for PD activity on the surface of the assets, and for internal activity. The green light means PD activity is below critical levels. The amber light indicates the presence of some PD activity that requires more frequent monitoring. The red light warns that the asset requires immediate investigation and may be in a critical condition. This instrument is accurate because it uses two PD sensors. The ultrasonic PD sensors. The ultrasonic sensor listens for PD activity in the ultrasonic range. And the TEV sensor checks for transient earth voltage effects in the form of radio energy emissions. So if you want an immediate check for critical PD activity, this is the perfect type of instrument. PD activity measurement. Want more information about PD activity? Choose an instrument that provides greater detail. This type of instrument uses the same dual sensor technology as a simple traffic light detector, and it works just as well as a first-pass fault detector, but with a lot more features, including a color screen showing details of PD activity as numerical and graphical values, plus a set of headphones and a microphone so you can listen to PD activity as audible signals. And you can add a directional microphone, which increases the instrument's range and enables you to check for PD activity on overhead assets and hard-to-reach places in your plant. And an ultrasonic contact probe, which detects and measures surface discharges in sealed chambers, such as cable boxes. PD activity investigation. So how do we locate the exact site of PD activity and investigate its magnitude and severity? Handheld instruments will get you very close to the sources of PD, but for total accuracy and speed, use one of the new third generation systems that effectively combines several instruments in a single package. This one is a complete portable PD investigation system that locates, measures, and records PD activity in all types of substation assets, including cables. It comprises a central portable unit with two probes and no fewer than six sensor technologies to maximize its accuracy and versatility. Transient earth voltages to measure internal PD activity. Ultrasonic, which indicates surface PD activity in the form of decibel readings and audible signals. Radio frequency current transformer, RFCT, for measuring PD activity in cables. Surface temperatures, plus sensors to measure environmental conditions in the form of ambient temperature, relative humidity, and atmospheric pressure. The battery-powered central unit is easy to carry with a menu-driven color touchscreen, a large internal memory, sophisticated software, a USB port, and an integral function checker to ensure that the probes are working correctly.
In location mode, the system measures transient earth voltages using two probes. The instrument measures time-of-flight differences to locate the position of the PD activity to an accuracy of 2 nanoseconds, equivalent to 60 centimeters. You can also use the system in single probe mode. This measures both ultrasonic and TEV discharges to determine the severity of the PD activity. Options include using factory threshold settings for a quick survey to determine whether PD activity is at critical levels, or taking detailed readings of ultrasonic and TEV activity. For more detailed surveys, use the system's full range of sensor attachments and accessories, including the extension microphone, high-quality headphones, directional microphone, spot and ambient temperature sensor, pressure and humidity sensors. For measuring PD activity in cables, simply clip on the RFCT sensor and plug it into the central unit. All of the data you collect is stored in the unit's internal memory, where it can be accessed via the touchscreen menu and transferred to a PC for analysis with the software included. PD Activity Monitoring Due to the possibility of PD being intermittent in nature, it's often important to measure PD activity over time. So here we have an example of a third generation monitoring system. It's a complete asset monitoring and alarm system for managing the condition of substation assets 24-7. It's easy to set up, non-intrusive, and works automatically without human intervention to provide continuous PD detection, location, measurement, monitoring, recording, analysis, and fault alarm warnings. The system comprises a web-enabled hub that supports a network of up to 250 measuring points simultaneously, all with precedence between them, so it's perfect for monitoring all types of substation assets, large or small, including cables. Installation and configuration are both very simple, because it uses a new networking solution which carries both data and power over a single cable. Each measurement node supports five types of sensor. A built-in TEV sensor plus additional plug-in TEV probe, an ultrasonic microphone plus additional contact probe, a plug-in radio frequency sensor for measuring PD in cables, a built-in temperature contact sensor, a plug-in ambient temperature and relative humidity sensor. The system measures the severity and magnitude of PD activity by taking readings from multiple measurement points, all with precedence between them. It continuously measures PD activity non-intrusively. It uses time-of-flight measurement to locate PD activity to within 30 centimeters. It measures PD activity at up to 250 points simultaneously. It records PD activity over time it analyzes and reports PD activity, including tracking changes in PD activity over time and warning when activity exceeds specified parameters. And it automatically transmits alerts by text message or email when PD activity reaches a critical level on any asset being monitored for complete peace of mind. All of the information is stored on the system's memory ready for analysis by the software included to show exactly how PD activity is developing in your assets. The interface is Windows, so it's easy to use and 100% PC compatible, and reports can be viewed by authorized users with any standard web browser online and anywhere in the world. It's easy for asset managers to analyze their own results. or use third-party specialists 
to provide expert analysis and reports on PD activity online. Specialist monitoring and alarm systems have also been developed for extra high voltage gas insulated switchgear. These are specifically engineered to detect, locate, identify and monitor the five different types of PD activity that affect GIS assets. To warn when PD activity reaches critical levels and prevent faults developing into failures. PD activity alarms. In some situations, PD activity can escalate rapidly from a non-critical fault into a sudden failure. This has led to the development of PD alarms and early warning systems to give operators of mission critical assets complete peace of mind 24 hours a day. This alarm system uses a network of ultrasonic and transient earth voltage sensors to provide continuous assurance when substation assets are working correctly and instant alerts if PD activity turns critical using lights and audible alarms. Plus the option of automatically transmitting fault messages via email or text message. PD activity data. Data on PD activity is the key to understanding the true condition of your assets, providing vital information on the condition of individual assets and the whole of your asset portfolio, so you can make more intelligent decisions on maintenance interventions and asset replacement. Specialist software is now available to analyze PD activity data and turn it into valuable management information including recommendations of when maintenance interventions will be necessary and accurate predictions of when assets are likely to fail. So you can base the management of assets on knowledge of their actual condition rather than fixed maintenance schedules. And that means greater reliability, less downtime, longer asset life and lower costs.